GOP Rep. Gommert in shock as reporters reveal Imran Awan accessed House server from Pakistan. As previously reported, Debbie Wasserman Schultz employed Pakistani IT staffers and brothers who were paid over $4 million over the course of their employment, even though they were accused of a cybersecurity breach. Imran Awan was arrested as he attempted to flee the U.S. after wiring approximately $300,000 to Pakistan. Fox News is the only cable network covering this huge scandal. When Imran Awan was arrested, he was carrying $12,000 in cash and also his wife, $12,000 in cash when she fled the country. Amran and his Muslim brother, Abid and Jamal, accessed unauthorized computers while acting as IT specialists. The three brothers were making about $160,000 to $165,000 each. And one of the brothers has a criminal background. Imran's wife, Ina Alvi, also was employed as a house staffer since February 2007, was paid 168,300 in 2016. Rao Abbas was paid $85,000 in 2016. Investigative journalist for the Daily Caller, Luke Rosiak, testified Tuesday to four House Rep uh, Republicans who held an impromptu caucus meeting on the Iwan IT scandal on Capitol Hill along with the president of Judicial Watch, Tom Fitton. Sarah Carter of Circa News reported. Texas Rep. Louis Gommert was in absolute shock as Luke Rosiak revealed that Imran Awan spent several months each year in Pakistan and was still accessing the House server remotely. I've seen records indicating that the Imran Awan spent three to even more months per year in Pakistan. I've also seen emails that indicate that he was doing his job remotely in Pakistan, Rosiak said. So he had access in doing the job and providing security for House members from Pakistan? Seriously, Gomert asked. Gomert was in absolute shock as he continued to wrap his head around the fact that a person was able to access a government server from Pakistan calling the news staggering. When Imran Awan is associated with active in as ghost employees who did where they, uh, as you were saying earlier, um, when they achieved the maximum amount that a house employee can make, then you seem to indicate that's when another family member, another associate would pop up and would become, would find themselves on the payroll, correct? Right. Um, and do we know for sure if some of those family and associates uh, did not ever perform IT work for these offices? Well, there are indications, for example, the youngest brother was a full-time college student. He was only 20 years old. Imran Awan spent months out of every year in Pakistan. Uh, Abid was... He spent at least one month a year in Pakistan. He spent more like, uh, I've seen records indicating that he spent like three to even more months per year in Pakistan. Some years he would spend more than three months in Pakistan. He also, I have seen emails where he indicated that he was doing his job remotely from Pakistan. So he had access in doing the job of providing security for house members from Pakistan? Seriously? That's what he said. Uh, I've not seen that anywhere. I was not aware of that. But Imran Awan himself said he was helping with what well, he was doing the job for which he was being paid. Uh, what amount was he being paid annually? $160,000. Over $160,000 annually, and some years more than three months doing it from um, Pakistan. And it is just staggering. Um, sure it is. And he was paid like triple the amount. A House official told Circa News that Imran Awan may have sold the information so he uploaded to Dropbox, everyone is talking about Russia, but Awan, 
could have been the one to have sold the DNC emails. The DNC refuses to hand over their servers to be investigated. If they really were the victim of a hack, like they claim, they wouldn't be protecting their servers from authorities, right? Makes sense. The Gateway Pundit reported in July that Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer revealed to Laura Ingram that the Pakistani IT staffers were sending sensitive information to the Muslim Brotherhood. There you have it, folks, right? Judge Napolitano also discussed Imran Awan selling information to foreign agents in a July Fox News appearance. Judge Napolitano, he was arrested for some financial crime. That's the tip of the iceberg. The real crime against him was that he had contact. He had access to emails of every member in Congress and he sold what he found in there. What did he sell and to whom did he sell it? That's what the FBI wants to know. This may be a very, very serious national security investigation. And meanwhile, Mueller's out there running around trying to find any information on President Trump and Russian collusion. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.